Hello first grade families. So last week we had our first parent group meeting. If you weren't able to attend, no worries. This video will provide you with the information that we discussed. Let's get started. So let's meet the teachers. Your child is currently in a departmentalized setting, which means they have a set of teacher for one subject or a few subjects and a set of teachers for different subjects. So for ELA and social studies, your child has Ms. Calvin and Ms. Cruz. For math and science and social studies, if they are in 102, your child has Ms. Beckford and Ms. Rosario. Breakfast. So breakfast starts at 8.05. That is when the doors open through the backyard and it ends at 8.35. If you would like for your child to have breakfast in school, this is the time they should arrive. After breakfast, they are escorted to the gym to stay with their class. 8.40, the doors are closed and you must enter through the front door. After 8.45, your child will be marked late. If they're walking into the class after 8.45, they are marked late. Please keep in mind the importance of making, your child, uh, making sure your child is in school before 8.40, sitting in class ready to start the day and ready to engage in routines with their peers. Dismissal is at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. After 3.05, your child will need to be picked up in the main office and you will be asked to sign a document. We are tracking latenesses. So, like I mentioned earlier, Ms. Calvin and Ms. Cruz um, are teaching ELA for all scholars and social studies for 101. So, we continue to use Schoology as our learning platform. And um, the steps to log into Schoology will be sent home with your child so that you have it at home and you are um, using it to practice with your child how to log into Schoology. The information is uh, mycvs.schoology.com. They enter their last name dot first name at mycvs.org. Please make sure that it says Schoology integration so that you're making sure that you're going into Schoology. If you get this pop-up message, just go back to st um, start from step one. It's an error that happens often. We use Mayan, Mayan for reading. Mayan is our online reading resource that we use in the building. And again, your child will be sent home with this information. Uh, you, you will need to know your, uh, the student's ID number, which we will write at the top of the handout that we sent home. And the password, very simple, IPower359. Math and social studies, math and science, as well as social studies with Ms. Beckford and Ms. Rosario. Forgot the science there, but Ms. Beckford teaches science. So again, uh, Ms. Beckford also uses Schoology within her classroom. Same login, is just a different folder. So Ms. Beckford sent home Reflex and Zern math handout so that your child has access to it at home and can also practice. Please make sure you check your child's backpack for important information and resources. Every child was given a, an orange folder. In the orange folder, you will find handouts or any important doc, uh, documentation, document that needs to be signed and returned to school. Homework. Many of you have asked about homework. If you've been part of the CVES community in the past, in person, you know that research has shown that homework is not effective. It creates a lot of tension in the home, and we want um, children to build study habits. So study habits for us include reading on Mayan, um, being able to select a book of their choice, and reading the book at home for a few um, minutes, depending on the age, of course. And math, practicing on reflex, practicing numbers, letter formation, uh, as well as any lessons on Zern that need to be completed. So please make sure your child is working on study habits. 
Parent-teacher communication. Keep in mind that we are in front of children from 8.40 to 3 p.m. So if you are sending us a message at 8.45, 8.50, unfortunately, we cannot respond to the message because we believe that as professionals, we should not be engaged with our phones because we are with the children from 8.40 to 3 p.m. As soon as we see your message, we will respond to it. It might be during the prep, during our lunch, or during um, after school while we are still in the building. Remember that Tuesdays is Parent Involvement Day. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out to us and we will um, get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.